Hi, I'm Victor. In this video, I am going to share a trick on how to create breakout rooms in Google Meet. Recently, I have a group activity in my online classes. In order for my students to talk among themselves and collaborate on the activity, I decided to make smaller virtual rooms where they can discuss with their respective groupmates. Today, I am going to share how I created this simple workaround in Google Meet. First, I created a file in Google Slides where the students can write their names and where they will be able to access the Google Meet link to meet with their members. This image of Google Meet is just copied from the result of Google search. To get this, simply go to Insert, Image, then search the web. The keyword I entered is Google Meet. Then I selected the image and dragged to the slide. I will go back to this Google Slides file later. I will go to Google Calendar first. Why Google Calendar? It's because I will create Google Meet links by creating events. In each event, I am going to create a conference link. Since I have four slides in Google Slides or four groups in Google Slides, then I need to create four events too. It can be any day and time. Anyway, the important for us is the Google Meet links only. I will pick any date and time. The title is Breakout Room 1 for group number 1. Then I will click the Add Google Meet Video Conferencing button. I will copy the link, then I will go back to the Google Slides. Click the Google Meet image, then select the Insert Link icon. I will paste the link. The idea is when the students click this link, it will go to the Google Meet where they can meet their groupmates. I am going to create three more Google Meet links in Google Calendar for the remaining breakout rooms. Now, I created the Google Slides file that I can share to my students. I am ready to share this. For my students to view this file in presentation mode, I will go to the address bar, remove the text that starts with edit, and replace it with present. I will copy this link, then paste this to the Google Classroom or any learning management system that your school is using. What if I would like to monitor my students' group meetings? To do that, I simply go to the same file and go to the Google Meet assigned to each group. If I want to join all the groups, I can do that too. I just simply go to all the links. Then I can use a Chrome web browser extension called Tile Tabs. 
I just simply right click the tile extension icon, then click new layout, then select four tabs either vertical or horizontal. Then I will be able to see all the groups having their meetings. Here are other Chrome extensions that might be useful to you too. Nod extension. This will allow us to send emojis to avoid interrupting our students while they are having their group meetings. This is also for them to know that we are monitoring their progress. Mute tab. If you joined all the groups Google Meet, then you will hear all of the speakers in each group at the same time. The mute tab is a great extension that can help us in hearing a specific group only. I hope this simple workaround to create breakout rooms will help you too in managing group activities using Google Meet. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Please consider liking and sharing this video too. Again, this is Victor. Thank you all for watching.